I've been working on an echolocation simulation. Previous versions I have used a bat. Bats are really interesting because they can use two different types of frequency structures, FM frequency modulated sweeps and constant frequency tones. Plus, they can use the Doppler effect to detect velocity. I also wanted to think about other animals with biosonar. Dolphins and some other cetaceans can use biosonar also. The speed of sound in water is about four times higher than the speed of sound in air. So dolphins can emit individual clicks much faster than bats. Different species of cetaceans have different frequency ranges and pulse shapes. From my research, I could not figure out if dolphins were able to use the Doppler effect to determine if objects were moving closer to or farther away from them. Some sources said that they could, and other sources said that their chirps were specifically insensitive to the Doppler effect. In case you don't know what the Doppler effect is, it's where the sound waves compress ahead of a moving object and they expand or stretch out behind a moving object. So I coated up some dolphins and I put them into an ocean with moving kelp forests. So the dolphin would need to have clicks and chirps to figure out where the kelp is moving, but it can see the fish it needs to eat. Hear the clicks that the dolphin makes and the echoes of the clicks off the kelp forests. I gave the dolphin superpowers that it would not have in real life. It can sense the Doppler shift by the color of the reflection. Blue reflections means the object is coming closer to the dolphin. And red shifted reflections means that the object is moving away from the dolphin. In this way, the dolphin can swim maybe towards a red object to have relative safety and swim away from blue objects which are approaching. This dolphin is very powerful, so to make it a little harder, I lowered the speed of sound. This means she can swim about as fast or maybe faster than the wavefront of the pings. It also has an interesting phenomenon where the shapes of the kelp forests are no longer round but become distorted. Some dolphins can direct and focus the sound waves of their chirps, so I simulated a plus or minus 30 degrees angle. I increased the resolution of the echoes and increase the range but this is still really hard if something is coming from the side or coming from behind so finally i gave our dolphin two types of clicks one general click that goes in all directions and one focused click which has more resolution in one particular direction well i think i made it almost impossible the speed of the chirps or the speed of sound only about twice as fast as the speed of the kelp forest. So all the kelp appears blue uh, as if it's coming at the dolphin. I think this really highlights the importance of the speed of sound. Maybe why bats have to have so much more of a developed sense of sound than dolphins to, to account for the slower speed in air.